Welcome to Cloudy Knit Crochet. My name is Lori, and I would love to crochet up a storm with you. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love to hear from you, so leave a comment below. Thank you. I'd like to share with you the 2022 Crochet Along that I'm doing and it is designed by Repeat Crafter Me. So this crochet along is going to be a corner to corner pattern. So on my table here with my kitty link is all the supplies that I will be using to make up this corner to corner blanket. I have my yarn, I got my cute little bag there, I got my yarn bobbins, and then I got my little contraption box there that I hang my bobbins on. So stay tuned and we'll start prepping this project. So in this part of the video, I would like to show you how I go about prepping to do a corner to corner crochet project. So, um, I've shared these in previous videos. Um, these are yarn bobbins that I purchased on Amazon. And what I like to do before I start a project is I get all my colors that I'm going to be working with. And I like to wind up about, I don't know, at least two bobbins of each color. So I thought since I'd sit here and talk with you guys that I um, keep busy by winding up some yarn bobbins. Um, one thing I wanted to mention to you, um, since if you've been a subscriber with my channel for a while, you've noticed that I don't really, I, I don't have my face um, in my videos. Um, I feel more comfortable being behind the the camera and talking with my hands. So um, that's how I like to do my um, videos on my channel is uh, talking with my hands. So um, I notice a lot of other channels, as you can see here, I'm in a Kind of in a pig mess right here. I got a a knot in this color. I noticed a lot of other crochet channels. They um, they're brave enough to be in front of the camera, and I I'm not quite there yet. But maybe one day I will be. So um, anyway, so back to doing corner to corner. There is some prep work um, before you start your project, especially if you're dealing with more than one color. Um, you know me, I like a good challenge. So when I see a corner to corner uh, changing colors, I, I jump right on it um, to... Uh, to make it. So when I came across this crochet along making um, a gnome every month, I'm like, okay, I gotta do that. So the one that I'm prepping right now is for the month of April. And this one is called the April Bunny which will be representing Easter this month. So I always get excited to see what the next month pattern is going to be. Um, last night, I went shopping in my yarn stash, and I don't have that big of a yarn stash. I mean, I'm I started the process of my stash last year when I started my channel and I needed pink and purple. And I looked through my stash 
and I had no pink or purple. Pink and purple, honestly, are not like one of my favorite colors. I tend to go towards more of the um, warm colors. So I went over to Michael's and I got the impeccable yarn, 285 yards. It's a weight four. And the color of this one is eggplant. And this one is called uh, uh, Libby Rose Bon Bon. So I got those two colors at Michael's. And I noticed at Michael's yesterday, uh, yesterday was what, uh, it was, April 13th, I noticed that April, um, that Michael's was having a sale on their yarn. It was uh, buy one, get one, 50% off. So I lucked out when I needed some colors and showed up when they were having a sale. So if you're not aware of the Michael's sale, I'm not sure when it's going to end, but if you need any yarn, go check out that cell, especially when you could get one for 50% off. The next thing I'd like to show you, um, if you saw my episode, well, it was uh, a while back, I had like this white basket and I, I put a little stick through it, but the white basket didn't sit flat. It had like a, a rounded shape to it when I put it on its side. So I thought, okay, I got to come up with another idea. So I bought this box and these are one of the boxes that you could buy at Michael's to store your photos in. So I just purchased the box. I punched a couple holes here and then I just put my little uh, stick through and I just hang my bobbins on there. So what I do is um, at the very beginning of my project, whatever the first, I start with uh, the first two colors that are going to come up first when I start the pattern, I'll hang them on my little box here so um oh in fact <laughs> um my first color um, when i work up this pattern will be the border which is a soft gray color and i'm using the big twist yarn big twist um by joann's is like one of my favorite yarns i really enjoy working with them and then uh, my next two colors after that will be the teal and the white. So I'll have them hanging on my um, contraption there so they're ready to go. And then my other colors that aren't going to show up in the pattern right away, I'll just um, have them ready to go and I'll stick the colors in my bag here. So I try to keep this project organize. Um, otherwise, I'll go crazy if I don't have everything set up and ready to go. So that's how I go about um, setting up my corner to corner project. So in the next segment, I'll show you um, the very beginning of the April bunny. Okay, so here's the beginning of the April bunny for my crochet along. Now, one thing I wanted to point out to you earlier, I was talking about um, winding up at least two bobbins of each color. And the reason I like to do that is sometimes, um, depending on how the pattern is working up, you might have to have two bobbins on here um, for the same color. And let me explain to you why that is. Now, right here, I have this bobbin here. Um, 
and this is the gray is the border. So I have this bobbin for on this end. And then over here on the other side is the border again. And this time I didn't wind this one up um, as a bobbin. I had a small skein. So I'm just using that um, until I use it up. And then at that point, I'll probably wind up another bobbin for gray. So when you have the same color, but it's in two different locations on your work, it's probably best to start a new bobbin for that area. There's been times where I might have more than two bobbins going on for the same color, especially if let's say I had gray going on in here in the middle, I'll probably want to start up, start up another bobbin for gray too. That way, um, what I found, what's why this is probably the best way is you can start that bobbin up and you're not stopping and starting all the time because then you're going to be sewing in more um, ends. And <laughs> that's not my favorite thing to do, uh, sewing ends in. So there's another little hint with corner to corner um, is you might have more than one bobbin of the same color um, attached to your project. So right now I have, so I have one, two, three, four, five. So I got five strands of yarn um, attached to this project. So there is the beginning of the April bunny. Um, I'm going to keep it a surprise and I will show you the completed bunny um, when I introduce the, the month of May for this crochet along. But I need to show you the previous squares that I've already done and that is for January, February, and March. So they'll be coming up, so hang on. I forgot to mention that this crochet along is free. And I will leave Repeat Crafters Me website in the description box below if you would like to join in. Thank you for watching. Bye for now until we meet again.